Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's talk to you. How's it going? Uh, I feel like my whole body's being choked by something. I've been feeling rough ever since that cursed zone appeared. Many are even worse off than me. Some have succumbed to illness. Oh, our poor city. What's happening to us? I couldn't tell you. We defeated the Rochi. Why is evil still here? Now. Such a tragedy. Oh, okay. It's a, uh, it's a tool shop. That's an obscene, yeah, sure is. Looks like it's seen many years of service. Good, good for the obscenely large hammer. Shout outs for that. We need to see more of the obscenely large hammer. It's, it's, it's four, get in here. Okay, let's let's see what's down here. Are we going to get water back? Curse that confounded water dragon, causing such a commotion. How can the god of the sea be run, ruining a piece like this? I bet the dragon is to blame for the stay of the canal, too. All that fuss has caused the lake to plug itself up. Master Carpenter. Oh, you're the carpenter. Hey, Ami. Looks like there's trouble over here, too. Seems the whole city's a complete mess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, did you come here for a drink of water, Wolf? I'm afraid it's completely dried up. This canal was a really important source of water for us. That's why I'm digging a hole to see if I can tap into it again. So many people are sick now, but there's hardly anyone to help out. In fact, I'm the only one left. One lowly carpenter. But I'm determined not to give up. You get quite fit doing my job, and now I can reap the benefits. I built almost everything you see here in Cyan, you know. So there's nothing I don't know about this place. Wanna know where the key to this water source lies? It lies in Lake Biwa's drain plug. You certainly seem to listen well for a pooch. Maybe I should tell you about Lake Biwa's plug, then. Cyan City is floating in the middle of Lake Biwa. The water from it f uh, is... It, the water from it is what fills the canal around the city. But the water dragon's antics have made the plug seal up. No wonder the canal is dried up. And that's why we're in this sorry state now. I'm sure that the plug is located beneath this, this area. If I can dig my way to it, the water should come gushing out. It's pretty exciting, don't you think? If you think so, then maybe you can help me out. Oh, it's this. Yeah, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, I understand. Yep, I understand where this is going. It's a digging minigame. I should have seen that coming. And yes, I didn't. Okay, where do you want to go first? Am I going to regret coming down here? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Depends on how bad it is. Um... Oh, this is a dead end. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Unless you can break that. No. You sure can't. Um... On a scale of one to, oh dear god, how bad is this? You know, really, how bad is this? Can you break this at all? I really hope so. Wait, no, that would make no difference. Even if you could, which you can't. What? Oh, no, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see. No, I see. I see. I've worked it out. Don't don't tell me I've worked it out. I'm an idiot, but I've worked it out. I worked it out. Look, it took me so long, but I did it. Um, which way do I want to go? I'm gonna say this way for this. That didn't. That didn't work. 
I'm gonna say this way just because. Just because it makes sense, I guess. That's the reason I'm going with. Um, trying to look at the area below. Sure, let's keep going down, I guess. Wow, what a surprise, you made it across. Okay, where are we going from here? Uh, sure. Uh, also sure. <laughs> this one's not difficult per se, it's just long. It's all about working out what you need to do. Where'd you go? My oh, dude. Okay, there you are. Cool, that works. And then we just need to work out where we're going. We've made it, we've got 35 seconds. Find the source of the water. Here it is. Sweetness. We did it! We actually won! That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be! The man has drowned. We've killed his, his worker, but... <laughs> look, Wolf! Look at this wonderful water from Lake Biwa! Cyan has had its fair share of hardships lately. The water dragon on the rampage and that strange mist all over. But it matters not what trials present themselves to us. If we solve them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf. You did a good job. Hey! Thank you for the experience. It's very kind of you. Okay. Well. Are you happy? No. You're not any happier. That's fair enough. I mean, not much has really changed besides the water coming back. And the guy dying. I mean, he is dead. Like, there's no way he survived. That would have just come out of nowhere and it would have drowned him. And he's gonna have to live with that. And by he... He, well, he, he's dead, he's, he can't live with it, but his his boss is going to have to live with that. To be fair, there was no way he could have known that he was down there. Doesn't change the fact that he absolutely killed him. Ta-da! Okay, right. So we made it here, we did it. <laughs> At last, the time is near. Benke the fisherman monk shall lay claim to his 1,000th sword. Oh, you're a fisherman. I have traveled far and wide changing master swordsmen, and the 999 swords I have claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1,000, and that thus aimlessly I have wandered. That is until a legend drew me to Cyan City. It is said that our living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Have you heard the legend about Lake Biwa? Even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my 1,000th sword. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command, I can make it passable and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course, that may be easier said than done. This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. I must therefore arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over the tool dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of whites like new fallen snow. There is no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I can't afford it. Oh, what am I to do? That's blinding snow! The rod from the tool dealer! With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. I'll be a good doggy and give it here. I'll hand you the blinding snow. Oh, happy day! 
I have never fished before, but it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now to catch that 1,000th sword, I shall engage in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. <clears throat> I've been holding my rod over this water for five seconds now. However, the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I shall sit here as long as it takes. Mommy, your daddy is never going to let us across at this rate. Time for some of that angling magic of yours. Show him how you do it. Fish that living sword out of this lake. Sure, let's do it. Bah. Good head sure is a handful. I wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword anyway. There's such a thing as some new fish, though. Okay, Amy. You got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to the fish. I don't know exactly what we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. Okay, this fishing music is way more intense than the uh, than the previous one, and I love it. I think I hooked something. You did. It's not the right thing. I got a fish. Is it a new type of fish? Yeah, you got a killer fish. It's not new. But it is a fish. This music is so bizarrely intense. It has no right being this intense. The good thing is that... Oh, yeah, they're good face. Any fish we catch is, um, is going to be worth a lot in this city, it seems. Gobi! Oh, hello. You're, you're large. Are you the living sword? Well, you're not a sword. But... Is this what you're after? I don't see why it would be, but... You know, can't have to try. Whoa! Look at you! Maybe this is it. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's a cool fish. I like it. It's, uh, it's silhouette is absolutely not what it looks like, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's a free time one. Actually, it might be more, you never know. Hee <laughs> hee. You're mine! You caught the cutlass fish, the living sword! The gods be praised! At last, at last I fulfilled my dream! We got the living sword! So that is the living sword. That is what I've been pursuing all this time. Oh, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass fish is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? Spare me such solace! But enough about that. A monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge work passable once more. Oh. What? You gonna continue fishing? I have come to realize how foolish my obsession with swords is. But fishing? Uh, yep. So if I want to go fishing, I can. Basically, is what that means. Oh my god. He ran the underworld. Okay, but seriously. Whoa, stop, Amy. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains, so... What's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Fevel. You. You... Bastard. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, ma chérie? Ah, oh, not you again. Oh, you can't fool us. We're not going to forget what you did to us back in Oroji's cave. And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? Excusez-moi, but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Bah, some prophet you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. 
I already know where it is. It's just getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. And the world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. Path to the heavens? Well, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, ma chérie. Huh? This city is quite is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. <laughs> you got your all figured out. This funky mist in your so-called path to the heavens. You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all. Admit it already. Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Methinks you should be doing something about the mist now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. <clears throat> Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand, my Sure. All these people want to see the queen, I guess. And I just want to enter the gates. Yeah, I didn't think that would work.